Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Black Accountant. It's your boy Mo. If you haven't noticed, so go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments of any kind of content you want to see going forward. So today, uh, I want to talk a little bit about why I think working hard isn't sustainable. Now, you know, that sounds already really clickbaity, <laughs> as, I, as I normally do, but I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about why I think working hard and not smart is not sustainable. You know, working hard is obviously sustainable if it's done well, if you're being smart about it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people assume building wealth or becoming successful, at least from a financial standpoint, means that you need to work just really hard. You know, I'm gonna get multiple minimum wage jobs and work those, and then hopefully that'll have me or get me set. You know, while that is something that you could do, and it's something that you could do to build capital when you have no other options, it's not a sustainable method or a sustainable uh, mentality to have going forward into the future when you're planning for your career, when you're planning for your future, when you're planning for your future expenses or the the lifestyle that you're planning to lead, you know, and that's when I think working smart becomes something that you really do need to incorporate as well. You know, a lot of times you need to reevaluate, like, how do I budget? You know, am I actually keeping track of how much money comes in and out of my pocket? Um, am I spending money too much in vain things or am I spending too much money on things that I don't necessarily need at the moment? You know? Those are things that you really should be asking yourself when you're trying to plan ahead, when you're trying to become financially independent. And financially independent looks different for a lot of different people because somebody's idea of being financially independent just means having a stable job, you know, where I get paid a decent wage so that I can cover my basic living expenses. To somebody else, financial independence means being able to not look at the price tag when you go shopping, regardless whether that be food or whether that be clothes. You know, you want to live a more lavish life, but you don't get to these things unless you work smart. So a couple of things that you could do in these areas is um, is to save. That's obvious, you know, it may or may not be obvious. Actually, I take that back. But um, saving a portion of your income, you know, a lot of times when you scroll through Instagram, you scroll through entrepreneur type feeds, you see all this noise about oh, you should be saving $3,000 a month. You should be saving this much. You should be investing in ETFs. You should be investing in stocks, et cetera, et cetera. And it feels really overwhelming because you may not be there yet. You know, at the same time, it may not be aligned with your goals. You know, a lot of times that's why I feel like most people should take things that they see on social media with a grain of salt because usually it's non-contextualized because the context of the person posting it is that it relates to something that they went through in their life. But it's not, while the main point might be relevant to you, it doesn't necessarily match the narrative of whatever is going on in your life. So I'd be very careful of just taking all my life advice from things that I've seen online or, or from social media posts. So that's one thing. But when it comes to working smart, that means thinking about your goals. So let's say my goal is to become a lawyer, you know. Uh, and I really, I really, really, really have been feeling that. And I, that's something I wanted to do for a long time. Working hard would mean accepting that this is going to take me maybe five to six or seven years to become a lawyer because I need to pass the bar exam. I need to do X, Y, and Z. But then adding working smart to that is how do I gain experience to make uh, my transition into that job easier? How do I figure out best practices or best ways of studying so that I actually retain this material? How do I find shortcuts to get to my goal faster? You know, and if you consistently ask yourself these things, and when I say shortcuts, I don't mean cutting corners. What I mean is um, cutting out menial tasks or things that might take too long that aren't necessary. You know, instead of getting boggled down into, I need to go to this specific uh, law school if it's not necessary to whatever law firm you're trying to work at, think about how can I afford to save my money in a way that I can purchase this study material quicker, you know, instead of waiting to get sponsored by a firm, which is something that a lot of accounting students do as well. You know, while you're in school, think about the different ways that you could be productive and use your time well, so that by the time you're graduated, 
you're you're already productive you already have some experience under your belt and you're getting ready and a little bit more competitive in the job market now i don't know why i took it into jobs and everything along those lines but <laughs> um overall working smarter is always the best strategy working smart and working hard together is is an unbeatable combo because talent can only get you so far it can get you in the door and it can carry you a bit but it won't carry you as far as the motivation and the ability to work hard and being passionate about whatever it is that you're doing. So that's kind of like the um, the small little tidbit I wanted to give there. Honestly, this is just something that came across my mind one time when somebody was telling me about like them working really hard and how many jobs they had. And it irked me a bit, so I figured I'd make a video on it. So what are your thoughts on the topic? Do you think working hard by itself is has a big reward as a big payoff? Or do you feel like Working hard should always be paired with working smart. Or do you think working smart is already a good enough substitute for working hard? Let me know in the comments below, and I'd love to hear your opinion. And that's all I had for today. So I'll see you guys in the next video.